All right, what's up, Wiffle? So I just got done with a pretty intense training session. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Recess Sport Paddle, and boy, don't I have some good things to show you. But let's go ahead and get back to the studio, all right? All right, Wiffles, welcome back. I know it's been a little bit since I posted a video, but today I got a review on the Recess Sport Paddle. Uh, had a few life updates that kind of held me back from posting a video. I moved and started a new job, and just didn't have the space ready and then just wasn't really in the habit of making a video. But today we are doing a review and I'm really stoked about talking about this paddle because I've been playing it now for a few weeks. And yeah, so thank you for tuning in and let's do it. This is all you need. Be your everything and I'll be your everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say it's real. More than just a thrill. Not just in it for the thrill. I'm in it for the love. the main thing paddle's great in a lot of areas and I'll cover later I'd say the only one thing I hate is handle handle you get a little sweaty it gets really slippery so not really ideal other than that I'm liking it it's good all right so the first few things I want to talk about recess is I did a review on their last first run of paddles uh, and I chose the Zion I think I gave it a pretty much about a three out of five in the sense of, you know, the people that I think would really benefit from playing it are newer to intermediate players who don't want to go over spending $100 on a paddle, but have promoted themselves from, you know, that beginner Amazon Target Walmart paddle. And, um, you know, a few months later, or around the same time I think I did the review, they came out with this paddle, the sport. And at first I was just like, yeah, wasn't really too interested in playing with it because at the time I wasn't really a fan of like a five, five and a half inch handle. But, you know, um, they reached out to me, which I was really stoked about. And they got me one, they got one in my hand and I tried it out and I was so pleasantly surprised with how great it played. You can let me know You know I will show Now we're sipping the boredom With you through it all Winter through the fall You just make the call Yeah, I'm in it for it all I'm in it for the love Cause love it needs to touch it Now press it on my body Babe, let me tell you something I'm in it for the love Cause love it needs to touch it Just looking at it really closely, you got one color here, one color on the side. It's like a different tone. They have four different colors. It's ranging to about 128, I believe. And the five and a half inch handle. I don't really know the thickness of this. I think it's 16. Um, overall, I would say that the paddle has a lot of what I didn't have before that I was looking for. So. Prior to playing with this, I was playing with the Tempest Wave Pro. The reason why I gravitated to this is because it just had a lot of good control, had a decent amount of pop uh, for what I liked. Uh, but one thing I noticed that I was really lacking is I would probably say one in uh, you know five drops would just be extremely high, and you know maybe that could have just been me. Could have been that the sweet spot is a little bit tighter, right? You have you don't have the longer facing handle. You have a you know the traditional size, so the sweet spot is like you know right here. So I'm not really too sure what it was, but I just know that I was you know really frustrated with this. So I uh, started playing with this paddle about two weeks ago from recording this, and yeah, immediately fell in love with it. It has a lot of great touches. Uh, my drops have significantly improved. Um, one thing that I will say 
um, in addition to talking about a similar paddle that I played with, which is the original Franklin Ben Johns paddle, as you can see, oh yeah, so that probably is maybe thicker than 16, but anyways, uh, as you can see, they're about the same handle size, right? Same type of body frame. Um, and one thing I just didn't like about this pattern, no matter what I did with it, lead tape, taking off lead tape, you know, less grip, more grip. I just always felt like the paddle was way too heavy. It felt like it was, you know, putting a lot of pressure and, and tension on my rotator cuff. And then the biggest thing is that as I started getting into higher playing, higher, you know, pace games, faster pace games, I just felt like I could not keep up. I just felt like because of the weight, I was too slow with it. Um, I don't know off the top of my head, so I'll leave it right here what the weight of this paddle is. Um, but just, you know, looking at specs is, you know, good for, you know, people care, great. But you really can't tell what you're going to like in a paddle until you start playing with it because it's all catered to, you know, how you play, how you play with a specific paddle. Like the way I play with this one may be different for you. So that's why this review is really just my opinion. Um, but overall, I just feel really quick at the, you know, at the kitchen line. I'm able to win a lot of points. I'm winning a lot of games with it. Um, you know, my drops are great. I'm able to push it back, you know, get it closer to, um, you know, if I'm on the right side, I can push it to the corner of the kitchen on the left side. I can get it behind people, um, double backhand, uh, you know, firefights are really quick with it. Um, the one thing that was challenging for me at the beginning, and it could have just been the size and I just wasn't trying it out very much was double backhand drives from the baseline. Uh, I was hitting a lot of those into the net. They were going really low at first for the first week. Second week, I you know did a drill session, and that was when I was really trying to work on it. And since then, it's been good. I haven't had an issue since then. Um, it's got a lot of grip, or sorry, a lot of grip right on the paddle. Right, you can you can kind of hear it. And after playing with two for two weeks, uh, it hasn't really faded all too much. Maybe just a little bit on the sweet spot on one side that I'm noticing. Maybe I just hit there more. Um, but yeah, so it's been a really great paddle. I, I highly recommend this. If you're looking for, to upgrade to a higher level, higher skill playing um, paddle, I highly recommend it. Like I said, updates were new home, new job, and oh, another thing is the sponsoring by the Bomb Squad is my new sponsor. It's a little community team over here in Orlando, Florida that I'm really stoked to playing with, doing some charity events soon. Uh, some live stream pickleball, and yeah, they're a nice sponsor. Um, thank you so much for tuning into this video. Stay tuned. We're going to have more coming up soon. I do have another review for what I believe is called uh, House Pickleball. Uh, they sent me a paddle a little bit ago during that transition time, and I just haven't had a chance to get my hands on it and play with it yet. But that video is coming up soon. So stay tuned. Thank you so much. And check out the affiliate link below if you would like to try out the recess paddle. Love to hear your feedback. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye bye. Don't want two minutes leave. This is all you need. Be your everything. Yeah, I'll be your everything. Still too soon to feel. Please just say.